the black man is criminalized. We are allergic to feminism. You should not out yourself as a feminist in the black community, never. Which either way you decide to take for your life, feminism has your back. That's the point. Hello curious, welcome to my channel. My name is Dominique and once again, you are most welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about feminism. Yeah! Can a housewife aka a stay-at-home woman be a feminist? But just for a little bit of theory and whatnot, let me just throw this out. There are four waves of feminism. Feminism started in the Western society. Hmm? Keep that in mind. The first wave of feminism was mostly based on uh, women having constitutional right, mostly the right to vote, to own property and all of that. That was in the late 18th and 19th and the beginning of the 19th century. The second wave of the movement was actually something like a civil rights um, movement. It was in the 1950s or 60s, 70s, 80s, around um, where mostly white women, because the first wave were purely white, come to realize that they were discriminated such as black people. <laughs> Welcome ladies, have a seat. Like they were fighting for um, their civil rights and legislation and whatnot. And all of a sudden they realize, oh, they are also black people. We are treated like black men and women. Like black women was, were not even on, the, on that picture. They were out of the frame, out of the page. It was purely a white movement. And that was the reason why at the end of the day, the second wave has to um, be not the wave anymore because they were, it was just right for white women. And that is where the third wave come and we, uh, I call it the diversity feminism, which is fine, like everybody we learn. And it was about being what you are, rights for women, rights for women of all types and culture, we all come, all shapes, you know, the, the same. So that's what's a little bit of theoretical, I, I forgot the fourth wave. The fourth wave uh, begins with 2012 with internet and women getting access to all this digital world and its benefits and like it's the best thing for the stay at home mom if she wants to be working. But did I talk about abortion? Did I talk about baby leave? Did I talk about um, sexual harassment? Did I talk about it all went in the third wave like the third wave was mostly for it is still present like i can see get women who is somewhere in the world where women are not allowed to go to school to vote or etc etc or on the paper they can vote but when it comes to voting the men vote twice all of them or i this is a, a recent a very 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 recent uh, story in my country, a patriarch, he died without leaving somebody legal to take care of his business, which it was really, he knew if he had said, okay, my boys or my girls, it would have been clash. he said, nothing, meaning it is for everyone what I left. But it happens to be that he has a very, very, very huge land in a place where in the last 20 to 30 years the price went from zero to like 50 million for the plot so the boys want to sell the plot but they can't sell it because and they are renting and there's a house there but they want to sell it but because the worth of the plot of the plot is too much and when the women they have the mother also, they have the documents of the land. When they go to regulate all those paperwork, they are often asked, don't you have men in your family? So that's also present, it's about property. That is the first wave, like the first wave of about legal voting and owning back and cow and such things. Second wave, we are working, but we are not having the rights um, because of the demand they were in the war 
and they came back and they wanted to kick the woman off the off <laughs> of the walking <laughs> walking space. But those people have been walking their two walls and they have been like keeping they were the last women standing and all of a sudden they had to kick them off. So that's uh, for the, the theory. I'm already talking too much. Um so can I stay at home mom wife be a feminist? My answer is yes. But here's the thing, the black community or the new, like my generation, we are allergic to feminism. Like, if you ask a normal black woman, are you a feminist? 50% will say, I am. 50% will say, I don't want to hear that word. Get out of here with, that, with feminism, right? Just because of the image. And where is the image coming from, the bad image? The image is coming from people saying feminism is a woman who wants to pursue a career. Yes, it is. You have that possibility. For me, feminism is just about possibility of choice. Like, if I decide to abort, then it is my womb, it is my body. I have the right to do what I want to do. If I want to study, then... I have that possibility. Nobody is going to discriminate me just because I'm a woman or because I'm a black woman. Those are part of the, 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 the different waves of, of feminism. If I decide also to stay at home, nobody is going to judge me. I have that possibility. That is feminism. Like it, if my culture says or wants, and if I stand and I go by my culture, it is also my right. That is feminism. Feminism made possibilities for women clear. Like, you have that possibility. Go for it if it is your choice. It is about you choosing how you want to live your life and you not having to be judged by the society. That is feminism for me. So there is no way, no way a woman can be a, fem a feminist. Maybe you are not an activist, but you are a feminist because you are enjoying, let me say it that way, you are enjoying all the products of the fight since the late uh, 19th centuries. If you decide not to vote, then it is your choice, but you have that possibility and you have, you have that right and even the possibility to fight for that right, like the legal system will support you if you decide to sue anybody concerning your normal human being right. I'm not talking about female right. And you have the legal possibility to sue your boss if he's not giving you a maternity leave or if you are not able to come back after. Yes, you are going to talk about the pay gap. I get it. We are still fighting. This is not yet done. Otherwise, there won't be a world feminism. So here comes, this is my, this is my theory, why black women are so against feminism. It is because the first feminism victory were for the white women. And after it started as the black people were fighting for civil rights, they come to realize that, okay, it's not just about women, but we, uh, black women as well have to like the black woman was never uh, a part of the of the of the fem of feminism right now that black women have those rights like on the paper as the white women and it's mostly seen as the western society is a women protective pro protective society which is not true but that those are the stereotypes like you are here you are you have the right to do everything the police is with you the government is with you black women so it comes to be like any woman who wants to be you have been you are like you are judge you are judge you should not out yourself as a feminist in the black community never don't out yourself as a feminist be a feminist but don't out yourself in africa in my village i saw a video where women dancing for a, a born house and they were all in trousers for them feminism is wearing trousers <laughs> is wearing trousers and um, having like 
the coat like it's this male appearance and male attributes which is in that is i don't feel like feminism is feminism is owning your female your gender like everything that has to do with uh with the natural things of being a woman it is also feminism that says but wearing <laughs> so we all we often confused uh, um like confused uh, also mixed male attributes to being feminist like people think a woman who works a woman, and an independent woman like financially independent is a feminist and therefore a man has nothing to say to her that is another topic so if you decide that is the point if it is your decision to be a stay-at-home woman a stay-at-home mom or a housewife let's say like that then you are in the middle of feminism like you are in that like kokoni part you are in the middle of feminism and you are a feminist Do I have to say more? So, um, I'm coming back to black feminism and black women and feminism as a whole, this correlation and intersectional feminism. Um, the thing is, a black man has, um, it's the fact, it's, it's, it's really a fact, um, it's more discriminated than a woman. Therefore, black men are against feminism because the privileges their women are getting comes from feminism but it is wrong for me because it's not the same fight me having a little bit of less discrimination this is what i'm saying less discrimination doesn't mean that it is the reason why you have more discrimination because it is said they have, it is on the internet, women uh, being really energetically uh, against feminism and black feminism as a whole because it's in its empowered women, to be black women to disrespect, that word is respect, disrespect their brothers, which is not true. We are in the same boat and uh, if I have a little less uh, um, uh, hustle than you. Anyways, it is a fact that black that prisons in America are full of black men. Like it is more if it if the population has fifty percent of black men in the in the prisons, you have eight percent of black men. Like the black man is criminalized. There is a feeling of injustice because the black woman is not as criminalized as the black man. And the reason being is feminism. Because of feminism, the black woman isn't so criminalized as the black man. Therefore, you should stop it because it is separating us, men and women, and it is separating our race. So keep feminism out of our race for us to stay one in the discrimination. <sighs> this is another topic, people. But to come back to our discussion already, can a stay at home wife, black wife, be a feminist? Yes, more than yes. Because that is your choice. If staying at home is your choice after degrees or not degrees, working or not working, whatever it is you are you are you achieved in the academical or professional or career life which either way you decide to to take for your life feminism has your back that's the point feminism has your back in each and every of your choices and nobody is going to judge you because feminism has your back got me right that's it for now and for today for the deep talk deep 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 talk <laughs> And uh, maybe I will do another video to get deep on other issues, but it's go it's already been too long. So subscribe to be sure to find me next time because I'm a very, very, very small channel. And stay curious. Bye.